Good morning, guys. Um, welcome to Increasing Your Revenue with Less Staff. I'm going to be your host, Liz Flack, and with me today is my colleague, Matt Liano. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. So first, we've all used them. The self-checkout kiosks at the grocery store or your home improvement stores. At first, they were a little bit clunky and awkward, but now as technology looks and feels like similar like to our smartphones, um, the customer experience with them has become more favorable. So 85% of Americans polled in a recent survey that they've used a self-checkout uh, self service such as a kiosk with that number rising to 91% for mil millennials that are going to be that 18 to 34 age group. So if we look on here, the changing landscape for food service and retail. Labor costs will gradually increase over time. Automation, which is you know, self-ordering kiosks, mobile order and mobile pay options are becoming less expensive. And customers are becoming more technologically sophisticated. And we expect to see technology used to create shorter lines at the order counter, improve order accuracy, and the ability to save the order preferences for a faster experience at their next visit. So for example, in the photo, you can see that here's a McDonald's kiosk. Um, they presented their Create Your Taste kiosk that allows customers to create custom burgers as well as order from their regular, regular menu. What they're gonna do is they plan to increase kitchen staff and they're gonna reduce their counter staff as a way to differentiate themselves and maintain a more stable labor costs. The idea is to focus more on producing excellent food experience in front of the house labor, being more like a brand ambassador, you know, greeting customers in the beginning and providing friendly assistance when needed. So kiosks impact customer beha behavior, how? They provide convenience and expedite the ordering and checkout process. It's been proven that self-service uh, technologies increase order size and volume. So with, if we look at some of these stats here, you can see that Taco Bell found orders placed in their self-checkout mobile app are 20% pricier on average than those taken by a human cashier. Chili's discovered their self-service tablets generated a similar increase, but with dessert orders. And we can look at McDonald's that found 20% of their customers who didn't initially order a drink would add one to their order when offered by the kiosk. So why is that happening? Kiosks um, and automated systems never actually forget to upsell. They're never forgetting to ask, would you like, a, you know, would you like a large drink with that? You can integrate your upsell and your add-on choices into the kiosk sales process so that way encourages customers to increase the size of their order. Another factor that's actually looking, being looked at is the psychological factor um, of not maybe per, potentially having the, the social judgment by human server or cashier. So one study I read showed how customers were more comfortable with ordering items that were hard to pronounce on an automated system rather than asking a cashier. So as consumers are free from the potential of social judgments, they're gonna order food and be more closely aligned that closely aligns with their true desires, um, which not often leads to a larger check average, but also leads to a happier customer. So some of the benefits to your business, you're gonna have increased efficiency. So faster order um, times, even a seven second reduction in the order time can increase one to 3% in the market share over time. Higher per check averages, you're gonna have a better return on your investment and you're gonna just have much happier customers. They're gonna order exactly what they want. So you got to consider both sides here. You know, the real question is, is automation something that's going to fit your business model? There's a lot of pros and there's some cons. So with the pros that we talked about, you know, having those really speedy checkouts, you know, no one likes to wait. Um, I'm guilty of this being here in San Francisco. We have a lot of restaurants that are really busy at lunchtime. If they have a kiosk where I can order as opposed to having just to wait in line to put my order in, I'll do that as opposed to talking to an actual cashier. But I still, still have to wait for my food to be um, created. You're gonna have more floor space for merchandising. So um, you can have different products that you wanna display. And you're gonna be able to focus employee talents on more meaningful work. One cashier managing several checkouts can be a brand ambassador. You know, someone's gonna be uh, greeting the folks as they walk in. There can be some cons. So the type of transactions you might run on a kiosk can slow down checkout time. So alcohol and cigarettes require age for verification. So this is gonna require a cashier to verify. Um, sometimes barcodes on coupons don't scan right or consider what you would offer. And if it requires human interaction, a kiosk may not fit your model. The risk of, of theft is slightly higher with a kiosk, especially if it's going to be unattended. So technology such as the RFID chips to maintain inventory control. 
So automation options through Revel with kiosk, online ordering, and the mobile app. With the Revel kiosks that we were just talking about, so you're going to generate approximately around 30% more orders with the Revel self-kiosk. Um, your business can transform the customer experience with self-checkouts while improving top-line revenue. So instead of waiting in line for the front register, customers have the option to conveniently tap, order, ground, and go. So self-serve, set up in a quick service restaurant. This is actually an example of our local San Francisco customer who has a busy coffee and sandwich shop in the busy North Beach neighborhood. So what they've done to decrease wait times and increase the per order revenue, they added a refrigerator display case that's stocked with pre-made sandwiches, salads, parf you know, parfaits, and many drink choices. So a customer that's on the go, when we're really busy, we can quickly grab a sandwich and drink out of the fridge and ring it up ourselves on the kiosk next to where it can be next to it and then just be on our way. A customer can also order a custom coffee and pastries at the counter and spend leisurely time enjoying their, themselves in the comfortable tables and chairs um, here in the establishment. So this is an example of a business who actually offers both. So some of the benefits of the Revel kiosk. So like what we talked about earlier, reducing those wait times, you know, cutting the long lines, it gives customers a checkout option. It's going to increase overall number of customers to add to the top line revenue. We have the intuitive layout. So the Revel self-service kiosk in includes advanced matrix system, which gives customers more smoother, less colored experience when choosing their items instead of endlessly scrolling through a product list. Um, we have increased customer satisfaction. So the benefit from the convenience of an automatic message, uh, or, I'm sorry, automatic menu changes, you can do accurate nutrition information, on-screen promotions, and instant pr ticket printing to speed up the orders. We also have flexible ordering. So the newest kiosk feature allows users to easily edit their order at any time, and they can see the detailed product descriptions and add notes to their order. They're going to, you know, being able to save money, so reduce order taking staff while serving more customers faster. Improve order accuracy and consequently reduce food waste. And then, of course, we have always on mode. So you're never going to lose a sale by continually to process payments, even when the Internet goes out. So this is branded. Um, this is an example of what the kiosk is going to look like. Um, and it's going to be branded to show your logo and company name. So Revel kiosks have been designed to be easy to follow for those who have never used an automated system. Um, and it's going to be fast for those who are used to uh, using such systems often. Our order process guides your customers through steps and makes it, makes it fun and easy. As you can see, it's a very clean UI and interface. You have different photos for your products and your logo is going to be located in the top left hand corner there. Here you have the ability to include special instructions for the kitchen. Um, so this is, I really like this option. I think it's really helpful um, to ensure if you have any type of allergies or if there are any special instructions. I like the idea of being able to put it in myself so I can ensure that it's going directly to the kitchen and I don't have to rely like on a waitress and to relay that information for me. And then once the desired items have been added to the order, we're going to go ahead and click on the checkout button in the bottom right hand corner. Here you can see an example of um, editing the order. So you can edit the order and check uh, to make sure it's everything that we want. This is going to be an example of the checkout and payment. So since the kiosks aren't attended by a cashier, um, only debit card, credit card, and gift cards can be used to pay for the actual order. And we can also add tips to the order. So when we're ready to take the payment, um, the, once the card is going to be swiped and the order is paid for, it automatically goes to the kitchen to be prepared. So Reven, Revel even offers the ability to add um, a customer order display that can let your customers see when their order is ready. So some automation considerations. Again, you know, keep in mind your business model, the culture, the customer base, and goals. You can also add just one kiosk in the beginning to see if it fits your business model. And you can look at the volume of transactions over time to see how that's changed. You can look at the average amount of each check, you know, the counter versus what's being sold at the kiosk. You can also look at purchase methods, um, you know, spending more using credit cards or are they spending more using gift cards? Um, you can even start with a smaller menu offering on your kiosk. And be prepared to provide assistance to your customers in the beginning as they get situated. 
So in terms of pricing for a kiosk, um, pricing is going to vary. And obviously, this is a recording, so this can change depending on when you're going to be watching this recording if you're not watching it live. So we have um, for our renting process program, we have it starts at two hundred nine a month, or if you're going to be purchasing the hardware up front, it's going to be around one nineteen per month. So you can contact your Revel sales representative, or you can email sdr management at revelsystems.com for some more specific pricing. So let's talk a little bit more about online ordering with the web, the mobile web, and custom commerce app. So both mobile websites and mobile apps let customers find and access your business from any device, but a mobile website and mobile app are not the same thing. So a mobile website is your web website paginated to fit onto a mobile screen. It has the same buttons and functionality as your website. A mobile app is an application that's going to be downloaded onto a smartphone. They're going to be designed to utilize the smartphone's native functions, such as using the camera to take a photo to identify the product. I'm sorry, identify the price of a product. A mobile website is designed specifically for smaller screens and touchscreen capabilities of smartphones and tablets. It can be accessed using any mobile device's web browser, like on Safari, Chrome, or Android. Users typically type in the URL or they can click on a link in your website and the website automatically detects the mobile device and redirects the viewer to the mobile version of your website. Some of the advantages of having a mobile website. So the primary benefit of a mobile website is that it's going to be make regular websites more accessible for mobile users. It can have all the same elements as the regular version of a website, such as look and feel, the pages, the images, and other content. But it's going to feature a more mo mobile-friendly layout that offers improved readability and functionality when viewed on a smartphone or tablet. So by having a mobile website, customers can access your website anytime, anywhere, using any device without compromising the user experience. So what is a mobile app? A mobile app is going to be a smartphone or tablet application. So unlike the actual mobile website, a mobile app must be downloaded and installed, and it's typically going to be coming from the iStore um, I or from Android's Google Play Store. This is going to allow merchants to gather data about the customer's preferences and makes it really easy to deploy loyalty programs. So at Revel, our custom app that we create for our clients is called the Custom Commerce app. So some advantages of having a mobile app. Mobile apps offer better personalization. They're going to be tailored to communicate to users based off of their interests and their locations. The ease of sending notifications, such as push um, and in-app notifications, this is awesome for doing marketing purposes. We also have the makes, uh, makes use of the mobile device features with GPS, so features to show directions to your store. You have a little bit more freedom in the design. You can do things such as tap, swipe, drag, hold, and pinch. Uh, you can apply a new branding experience, trying a different look and feel. And users spend more time on apps. It's been shown that 86% 80, of users spend time on apps versus 14% of the time on mobile websites. And apps can work faster than websites. And apps also offer better security. They're going to be great for taking payments online. So some advantages and some stats that I found for mCommerce that I thought were really great I wanted to share, that mCommerce is going to be the electronic commerce conducted on mobile phones. So this is known as the next generation e-commerce, so anything that's going to be sold via um, phones. mCommerce accounts for $130 billion annually, which represents one-third of e-commerce, which is huge. It's the fastest growing sales channel, increasing 40% every year. So Again, you know, whether it's through mobile websites or you have people that are on their apps, you want to be engaging with your customers where they are, and everyone that's walking through your store has a phone in their hand. So let's talk a little bit about web ordering. So uh, this is an example of the default gray color scheme that we offer. So when we paginate the website view on the phone, there's three color schemes. There's going to be gray, vintage, or the third one is going to be blue and white. On the actual website, there's going to be also a about your shop section where you can tell the story. So you can mention, you know, why did your um, why did you guys open up the shop? What's different about you in comparison to your competitors, or what's different about your products, and so on. So with the website pages, um, with the actual map itself, your customers can find your location easy. 
And if you guys have multiple locations, your customers are going to be able to find the closest location to them. With checkout, it's going to be very fast and simple with customer profiles. Your customers are going to be able to check out under their saved profile, or they can check out as a guest and enter the information shown above. This is going to support multiple payment options such as credit, debit, PayPal, Apple Pay, gift cards, and so on. Customers can review their order, they can make changes that they desire, and then submit it along with the information shown here. So with the actual order flow, so within two minutes of the customer placing the order, it's going to appear on the POS screen. So on the point of sale um, screen, you're going to be able to click on the orders button to open up the new online order to begin fulfilling it. So once the order has been opened, the dot will change to blue and will remain there until the customer receives the order by either you know, take out, pick up, delivery, or shipped. So if you look on the screen here, you can see the little purple dot in the top right-hand corner is showing us an indication of an online order. Once I click on the orders button um, and then click on online orders, next what you're going to do is pull up any of the online orders, tap on the order to highlight it, and then tap OK. So the order will populate on the order screen with the customer name, the pickup time, and phone number. Remember that these fields are being pulled from the information that the customer had entered during the checkout. So this is an example of our online ordering for retail. Our e-commerce products lists are very visually engaging with lots of white space to easily see the products. Your customers have the ability to filter their searches by, si by size or style. And they can also view the product details such as close-up images and descriptive text. So mobile web, uh, the mobile web view. So some of the features of the mobile web view. So again, these are viewable through both Android and the iOS phones. So you have optional payments such as credit card, uh, debit card, PayPal, gift cards, Apple Pay, PayPal, and so on. You have order types that you can accept or you know, eat in, delivery, takeout, pick up in the store, shipping, and so on. And then there's three different color schemes that you can have, the grayscale, um, the vintage, and the blue and white. And this is going to be helpful for getting, you know, additional business exposure, simplify the ordering, increasing your sales, having more flexibility, uh, offering the loyalty programs, and tracking everything in your CRM. So this is an example of a vintage color scheme that we have here. And this is an example of the checkout process. So customers can make their selections, add it to their cart, um, you know, add any special instructions, and um, they can also save credit card or rewards card and gift cards for faster checkout through their profiles. So through the Revel app, um, again, this is going to be able to show the customers exactly where you're located. Um, if you have multiple locations, it's going to have the different locations under the locations tab so your customers can see which one is closest to them if there's multiple ones in a certain um, city. And to talk a little bit about pricing, so the um, online ordering is going to be $50 per month um, and it's going to you know, cover everything that we had just gone over now. So the custom commerce app. So some of the features um, is that differentiates it from what we just went over is that it's going to look like your own application. It's going to be branded with your own colors and your logo. Um, again, it's going to be great for business exposure. You can have simplified ordering. Um, we have the CRM. We're able to do marketing with the push notifications, increase the sales, and having the flex flexible payments. So the menu is going to be highly visual um, with your brand. You have upgraded scrolling experience. Um, product descriptions can be included. You have modifiers um, that create custom orders from the customer's pre preferences, and special instruction features ensures getting your customer's orders correct. So with the About section, this is going to share you know, the important details with your customers, such as the hours of operation, the address, and even your customer history. Receipts also have a look and feel similar to um, your, your business. They can be emailed to the customers to reduce paper and expense. So they can be printed or they can be emailed. 
So you want to be able to be in control and fully brand and customize your Revel Custom Commerce mobile app. It's going to look like you hired an app designer to create it. Um, you can choose exactly what your customers are going to see, how they can search, and you're providing your business hours. Um, you can provide your business hours on there and also the contact information per location. So the, for the Custom Commerce app, it's $9.99 up front to design the app. Um, and you'll go through Q&A. Um, and then once you're ready to go live in the App Store, it's going to be $119 per month for the actual hosting. So that sums up everything. Um, we can go into any questions that Matt might have. Sure. So we answered a few uh, earlier during the presentation. Uh, one that did come up lastly was... You mentioned the cost of the custom commerce. If you could uh, mention the cost of the kiosk, if you if you have it handy. Yeah, so the kiosk is going to depend on um, if you're opting to do the leasing or renting program, program, we call it, which is essentially renting the hardware and software together. Or we have a program where you actually buy the iPad, buy the hardware up front. So if you're going to be renting the program, it starts around $249 a month. And if you decide that you want to actually purchase the iPads and purchase the hardware for the kiosk, then the monthly subscription is going to be 119 for the software and the support. Cool. And they could reach out to their sales rep for more info, I'm assuming. Exactly. Yeah. Reach out to your sales executive. Um, or you can always, uh, if you don't know who that is, you can email sdr-management at revelsystems.com and they'll be able to get that information for you. Cool. That's all I have over here. Awesome. Um, so that kind of touches on where we're at right now. So if you wanted to add a kiosk or online ordering to your packages, uh, make sure to reach out to str-management at revelsystems.com. Um, and then if you're currently using Revel's online ordering and you have any type of questions, you can go ahead and email those to info at revelsystems.com. And lastly, um, we have our resources. So again, if you go to Revel's support site at support.revelsystems.com, in the bottom right-hand corner, if you click on the training videos, um, we're going to be posting this recording, so you can always go back to it at a later date. So that's it, everyone. Thanks so much, and have a great day, and we'll talk to you guys soon.